The last point I want to make is a tribute to two of my colleagues who've done an extraordinary job when it comes to the Veterans Administration. I'm referring to John McCain, my friend, came to Congress with me many years ago, former Republican candidate for president, conservative from Arizona, teamed up with, of all people, Bernie Sanders of Vermont, self-styled independent socialist Democrat. How about that? Sanders and McCain sat down to solve the challenge facing the VA. God bless them, they did it. They're reporting a bill to us which is a dramatic improvement over the current VA system. We are now overwhelmed with Veterans Administration disability claims. 45% of the veterans coming home from Iraq and Afghanistan have filed a claim. We have tens of thousands of these claims pending, many of them for post-traumatic stress disorder. And we've said, incidentally, we're going to help all veterans. Some 400,000 veterans from other wars are making PTSD claims. In addition to that, we have those who served in Vietnam exposed to Agent Orange with nine different disease be diseases being treated. We have those who are victims of Gulf War Syndrome being treated. We have homeless veterans who are now being brought in, counseled so that they can get their lives back on track. It's an overwhelming responsibility which the VA has today, and the Sanders-McCain uh, Veterans Bill is going to address it by providing more resources for our veterans, more medical professionals, which we need. Remember, and we all should every single day, we said to the men and women who enlisted in our military and who volunteered, if you'll raise your hand, swear allegiance to this country, and risk your life, we'll stand by you when you come home. We're going to keep our word. We promised we're going to keep our word. And this bill, this veterans bill that's going to come before us this week does exactly that. Sanders and McCain met with the House conferees, worked out an agreement, an agreement which is going to benefit Heinz VA in Chicago with an additional facility which they need, an amendment which is going to help facilities all across this country serving our veterans, an amendment which says if you happen to live too far away from a veterans hospital, we're going to find a way to make sure you get timely care that's near your home. I think it's the least we can do, and we owe it to our vets. So I want to take my, tip my hat to my colleagues Republican and Democrat alike who put this together. I'm looking forward to voting for it this week, and I yield the floor.